Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Ed's Attention to Detail. Today, I have my final on the 1969 Oldsmobile 442 W30 Cutlass build. Now, if you remember, I told you I was going to build this as a Pro Street. Something I've never done before. We'll take a look at it. But before we get there, I wanted to do a shout out for my buddy Simi over in Ireland. He sent me a shop card about a week and a half ago. And I've been looking for the opportunity to kind of uh, actually do a video and, and do this shout out mail call for him. Um, great model builder. If you do not have see my BMW or see me, if you don't have him on your channel, you need to go check him out. He is the master of lighting. As you can see in his shop card, this is one of his builds and he's got this truck lit up from nose to tail. It is amazing. Um, just just a, an absolute marvel at what he does. He's great at, uh, at his hobby. He loves what he does. Um, nice personal note on the back. Simi, thank you so much for sending the shop card. I really appreciate it. And like I said, if you guys don't, don't know him, if you don't have him on your channel, I'm going to leave a link in the video description so that you can go visit him and hopefully subscribe as well. But again, Simi, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Now, back to the Oldsmobile. But let's talk about this real quick. So this is the kit that I used in order to build my Pro Street out of the Cutlass. This is the uh, AMT 1966 Chevy Nova Pro Street kit. And I took chassis parts, rear end, suspension, wheels, tires, uh, actually not the wheels, well part of the wheels I guess, um, the hood scoop. I, I took quite a few pieces out of this kit in order to build my Pro Street Cutlass. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a quick look at that. Now this is the box art for that, but here's the build. Okay, so as you can see, and you probably already know this from the uh, from the previous videos, that uh, I was doing it in a two-tone. I got the hood and, and the top of the front fenders back to the rear window. I got that painted in a maroon color and it kind of matches the decals. The decals actually came out of the 66 Nova kit. Now the one thing that I was disappointed with as far as the decals go is once I put them on, I actually notice they say Pro Stock and not Pro Street, even though the kit itself said Pro Street. So a um, little oversight on, on Ravel's part, I think, and uh, of course a failure of attention to detail on my part to, to notice that. But anyway, it is what it is. Uh, I like them, they look, they look good, the color combination, that's what I was going for on this. That all worked out really well. Now some of the things that I did to this model, obviously you see I've got the hood scoop on it. This came out of the Nova kit. On the door handles, I actually opened them up and, and made them look like real door handles so I fouled and cut out the middle of it. This is a trick that I learned from Pappy over at West Georgia Rod and Customs. Uh, he did a tutorial on this and I watched it and kind of learned the technique. Those turned out really well, and that's actually addressed in a previous video. Um, I put a spoiler, a front air dam, underneath the uh, the nose of the car. And the reason I did that, even though the car has got a nice lowered front stance and you know it kind of sits up in the back, I actually had the front end down a lot lower than that originally. And when I glued the chassis into it and I let it dry, and I left it to sit to dry overnight, the body popped up on it somehow. And uh, when, when the glue dried and I came back to it to check on it, it had already dried like this. And, and I couldn't get the body to sit back down where I had it. I actually had it probably an eighth of an inch lower in the nose than, than what it is now. I don't know where I went wrong with that. I don't know what it was that I did. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, like I said, by the time the glue dried, by the time I caught it, here it is. So with that, I decided that I'd go ahead and do this... Uh, this little front air dam underneath the nose of the car, which you can see there. And that turned out pretty decent. 
Um, it wasn't actually something that was in the original plans, but you know, it, it kind of works with it. So I decided to go ahead and uh, we'll just roll with it. Now, as you can see, I used the factory cutlass rims. The rims on the back are actually, I cut the deep rim from the 66 Nova kit. I cut them in half and I took the outer ring of that, glued it over the cutlass rim so that I could make the cutlass rim into a deep dish and uh, that's how I ended up using them with these tires. These tires actually came out of the Nova kit. They didn't fit these rims very well so I had to do a little bit of work with them too but in the end I think they turned out really nice and they look good on the model. And as you can probably see in the back I've got the ladder bars on it. It's got a nice look. You'll notice, hopefully you can see this, that I've got the exhaust tips that come out from under the bumper. And I told you in a previous video that I wanted to retain that look and make the exhaust come out of the rear bumper. Not an easy thing to do, but I managed to pull it off and I'll show you what that looks like in a few minutes here and as well. And you'll see that uh, everything sits really well. It, it, it actually, it doesn't even rock back and forth. It sits nice and flat, so I'm real happy with that. Um, now the front spindles, I actually cut the front spindles and I lowered the front end of the car. Um, that's how I got, got it to sit down the way it is. And I did have problems when I put the spindles back together because one of them was just a little bit off from the other. And so the car looked like it was going to be wobbly, you know, like it, it's carrying one tire in the air and not on the ground. Um, so I had to do a little bit of adjusting after I got the chassis and the body put together to, to fix that problem, but I, I got that resolved. And hopefully you guys can see this. So I have wired the engine. I actually went online, looked up the firing order for the Oldsmobile engine, and I put the ignition wires on there according to the firing order. I had problems with the firewall putting this thing together and that might be one reason why uh, the body decided to pop up when it was uh, when the glue was drying it was because that firewall I was having such an issue the master cylinder was actually hitting the inner fender inside the car here and it wasn't wanting to sit down very well I actually moved the uh, the master cylinder over uh, probably about a sixteenth of an inch and I filed down the top of the uh, the fender to, to make a, uh, a little recess in it so that the master cylinder would clear all of that. But uh, even then I still had issues. But So I've got a vacuum line running from the master cylinder from the brake booster to the intake manifold. Like I said, I wired the, uh, the ignition in here. I've got uh, cables on the batteries, the radiator hoses are all there. Um, actually ran a cable over here. I don't know if you can see it very well but I put um, a coil on the firewall and ran a, a, a line to that. On the carburetors, I actually have carburetor linkage running in between there and, uh, and I have a fuel line that I actually put on the other side. Runs down, it's, it's a, a dual fuel line, runs down and down off and into the chassis. But let's go ahead and take a look underneath. So, you guys can see got the uh, the big wide tires in the back and I had to open up the fender wells just a little you'll notice that these fenders actually kind of curl in a little bit um, on the Nova kit that I took this from the fenders are actually almost straight up and down so uh, I didn't have that or I guess it wouldn't have had that problem with that Nova kit but, but because this one curls in I did have to open these fenders up a little bit to get these big tires to fit in there but I grafted the back half basically from here back is out of the Nova kit and that's out of the chassis and the forward chassis is out of the Cutlass kit. So I grafted the two together right back here. You see that I built, um, scratch built this exhaust system and I got it coming out like I said back here right underneath the bumpers. And uh, I was not able to put a muffler in there but I got like a glass pack, maybe a resonator kind of thing right back here next to the bumpers. So. I figure if this, if this is going to be a street car, even though it's got slicks, uh, they, they would probably want to calm that sound down just a little bit. Uh, it, it fits and it looks nice. Now, is this a show quality build? Um, no, it, it's, it's not. Uh, I have definitely done better, but 
considering all the things that I had to do to get this Pro Street uh, to go together to make everything work. Um, I'm actually really happy with the way it turned out. So. All right, guys. So that's all I got. Appreciate you watching. Take care. God bless. Remember, pay attention to the details. Oh, and by the way, Merry Christmas. See ya. Bye. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and go ahead and hit the notification button so you know when I'm doing a new video. Like this video, and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Also, feel free to share this with any of your social media sites.